All right, so one more example here of simplifying products of binomials involving trig functions. And the one that we, uh, I think, left undone from the previous video was tangent of theta plus cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta multiplied by tangent theta minus cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So, of course, you could start multiplying this all out, but hey, don't do that. Anytime you see cosine squareds and sine squareds, Again, I always think, is there any way to sort of bring this identity into it? So cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. Well, hey, that's exactly what we have sitting here um, in the first factor, so certainly we can do that. Um, notice in the second term, we can actually, I think, factor a negative out of there. So let's, uh, let's maybe do that. So I'm going to rewrite um, this whole expression. So we have tangent of theta. Um, maybe we can already replace our cosine squared plus sine squared. We'll go ahead and replace that with our positive 1. Okay, so just regrouping all that stuff and replacing it with a plus 1. And then on the right side we have tangent of theta. Notice we could really factor the negative out of there. Um, just out of the cosine squared and the sine squared. If I factor the negative out, I would actually have to make that a positive sine squared theta. But again, the same thing as before. Now we've got cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. So I'm going to make my brackets into parentheses. It doesn't really matter if they're all the same here. Um, so then we've got tangent of theta minus, well, cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. Again, we're going to use negative 1 because, well, there's a negative, uh, you know, from before. And now what I'm going to do is just simply multiply this stuff out. So we're going to have tangent of theta times tangent of theta, which is going to give us tangent squared theta. We'll have tangent times negative 1. That's going to give me a negative tangent theta. We'll have uh, positive 1 times tangent theta, so that's just plus tangent theta. And then we have plus 1 times negative 1, so that's just going to be a negative 1. Well, the negative tangent theta and the positive tangent theta are just going to cancel out. We're left with tangent squared theta minus 1. And again, now I think about this identity that relates tangent, that involves tangent squared. Um, uh, so there's one at least that says tangent squared of theta plus 1 equals secant squared theta. And I think, well, you know, is there really much of anything to do? Um, you know, can I somehow can I somehow manipulate this tangent squared theta? Um, is there any way to what's a better way to say it? Is there any way can I manipulate this identity tangent squared theta plus one equals secant squared theta? Is there any way I can sort of manipulate that to make it say, you know, tangent squared theta minus one? Well, if you multiply both sides by negative one. Um, that's going to make the uh, negative tangent squared minus 1, so that's not what we need. Um, you could always, you know, replace tangent squared maybe with, uh, you know, secant squared minus 1, but again, I don't see how that's really going to help things simplify down very much at all. So I think I would probably just leave it right here, and I would consider that to be simplified.